not gonna lie, I <laughs> didn't actually think I would be sitting down today filming this album. Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be cap that it actually would drop, but I'm very pleasantly surprised that we are finally here. Travis Scott is finally dropping his follow-up to Astroworld. Today, we are listening to Utopia. This is one of the longest awaited albums. Obviously, we all know what a massive success Astroworld is. Utopia has some very, very high standards to live up to. Everybody has been losing their minds in anticipation for this album. And today is the day we see if this lives up to the hype. I don't want to drag this out longer than it has to be, so let's just hop in. Utopia is 19 songs for an hour and 13 minutes. I'm pulling up Genius so that I can read along some of the lyrics with the album. Let's hop into the first track, which is Hyena. Yeah. Okay, this shit is out of control. Trying to hear what you deny, you can't go. I'll be all around a map. Write a show by myself like I'm Chelsea Handler. I'll write a series by my bitches. Kansas, you know it's balding in my talk. I'm in my Esperanza. You know what it just is. I got you in all my stances. With your model stance. Oh, we know. I took the biggest boat, we stayed single ounce of time She bust a whole ounce by doing lines I'm 35 to 1, like the shit roulette All that bag your part and we done lit up every door Back and door, back and door, back and door, back and door Might have two rounds above it all Or drown I can't tell who that outro was I'm not sure whose voice that was But it sounds very familiar Interesting opening It sounds like he wants to maybe be a little bit more serious on this album. I won't doubt it. I won't. He won't mislead all his followers. Feel like, like I'm floating in my prime time. One life living in. I got him learn to the devil on fine. Story gets told. It's gonna be BMF. You can't live twice. Thank God I'm breathing. Still no pressure. Thank God I breathe. Last say was filled over slaps. I guess gotta run this shit back. It's that shit right here that get me going. After I pop me a piece, get back calls. I don't like 12 except Tom Brady. Can show up my songs are minor, but you know she living major. Favorite line a quarterback calls. They don't like 12 except Tom Brady. Shout out the GOAT. Shout out the best quarterback to ever do it. Got a little stormy cameo in there. That's cute. Definitely a more serious tone. The only issue with like this last song and this song is that like I feel like he's trying to say something, but he's like not really saying a whole lot. I mean, I like the whole message of like him having God on his side, but other than that, I feel like he doesn't really say a whole lot in here, yet he's trying to be like deep. And I feel like the lyrics are a bit lacking for that. Okay, okay. Smile how I got 
I really like the transition into the second part of the track. The production was really good in that. It sounded really good. This song, I think he tends to get a little deeper. This is definitely interesting so far. I'm still trying to figure out like where he's going with this. Let's hop into God's Country. They wanna watch it in Yeah, I touch it, this is war oh. I've been drunk and it's alright It's hot as hell with the ice You and go tear Bundy Then go home and play Al Bundy You decide, choice is yours I hit the gas with Metamorph Hundred thousand packed of fans In God's country with the fans I like the sample of the la 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 la, that little part. I like it. It hits the ear really well. Let's hop into Sirens. I was too dead determined. Not getting needed with furbish. She wanna fuck with a purpose. I gotta juggle my urges. Look up with a burpet. I give all of my sirens. this little word that they are playing with and like repeating tell me why i like those little parts better than the song as a whole. I thought we were going to Utopia. What makes you say this isn't Utopia? It's supposed to be some perfect destination. This is just your hotel room. It looks perfect to me. We got a little Drake cameo. Let's hop into Melt. Yay, we got a Drake feature. Tea time, tea time, tea time, tea time. I'm like, I got a cup of this shit. Tea time, I love the fuck on a regular bitch. Famous host lame, but they stay on my dick. Yeah, act like you love this American shit. But really, the truth is, you're scared of the six. You're scared of the six. Your bodyguard put in some work on the flute. Come to the boy on some arrogant shit. The weapons we got is some terrorist shit. We airing the shit. My dick just got hard because a wire just hit. My skin give a fuck about all of that heritage shit. So, because I would have been with the wasps and parents. That was the best verse on this album so far. If you've seen my videos before, Y'all know I've been kind of a Drake hater in the past. Honestly, I've kind of done like a 180 on him. I really like him. I respect him. I mean, shit. Give that man his props because that was a great fucking verse. Is you fucking crazy? Is you fucking crazy? The one three, then we turn up 11. Remember free Jeff, we can make collect calls right off of the celly. Always on tea time, being ready. Yeah. Crazy. Is you fucking crazy? Is you fucking crazy? Is you fucking crazy? in the pickup truck, the baby fuck Mercedes. I fuck a nigga, bitch, but she can't have a baby. Lionel Messi, I go Tom Brady. You to wear the bus down back in my old. Shout out Tom Brady. Now Billy hanging. She move her panties to the side. She want it raw and faded. Huh? Is you fucking crazy? This song was it. Highlighted the album so far. I am hoping it transitions into more of a sound like this. Okay, Fiend. Featuring Playboy Cardi. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm not mentally prepared. My estate when you in your prime. I've been flying out of town for some peace of mind. I've been focused on the future, never on right now. But I'm sipping I can boot you in the night.
fucking with Sadi home. Shout out fucking your friends. I'm going crazy. Shut up, Sammy. She's trying to go. Who wants to fuck with the bitch? I'm going to She's trying to fuck on the hoe. Me and my brother, like, you know, we don't want to fuck with I absolutely love that song. I love Cardi's verse. I just want this man to come out of the shadows already and give us some music. But I'm very, very, very pleasantly surprised that he is on Utopia. I don't know if people knew he was going to be on Utopia. I didn't. But... I love this song. This is this is what this is what I'm talking about. This is what we want. contrast between Travis's vocals and Beyonce's vocals. Beyonce sounded really really nice. Let's hop into I know. Question mark. Tell me if you still love it's five AM and I'm drunk right now. You just how I feel right now. You say it's just the drugs and I know. This is definitely like the classic Travis Scott sound that we know and love. I like this song. He flows nice on it. It sounds really good. I feel like if you're a Travis fan, this is going to be a song that you like and gravitate to. This one I'm intrigued about. It's called Topia Twins. Twin bitches shopping up a jet ski. Summer keep a me if she get too annoying. Find a beach, twin bitches, twin bitches, twin bitches, twin, twin drapes, twin gloss, twin jets, twin. Try the planes, I don't ride prop. Uh, twin bad bitches in the studio, they all prop. Sitting in a cell, I bet he coming home like pop. Oh God. I don't want that clean head, little bitch, I want that slop. Twin. She can't bring her phone, ain't no giving out my drop. They keep looking for a head, but it's going down like drop. Twin. Oh, he think he tough, he just acting, he the rock. They keep looking for a hip, but it's going down like John. <laughs> Whenever I think of John Morant, I think of this clip right here. Set up there, John Morant, <laughs> look at <laughs> Any song that 21 jumps on, he takes over the song. I love 21 Savage. He always comes correct. This song is literally a masterpiece. I don't care what anyone says. I love this song. They both came correct on it. This is a hit. that song it almost goes without saying how amazing the production on this whole album is but especially in that song the production is just 
flawless. They kill it in every single aspect. I mean, it is to be expected considering all the people that have their hands on producing this album and mixing this album and making sure that it is just an immaculate experience. I wish we got to hear a little bit more of The Weeknd on this song, but regardless, the song was amazing. Okay, let's hop into Parasail. It says this song is featuring Young Lean. If you know, you know. I fall. And I get up. Look glass watching by the bushes waiting on a breeze. Yeah. Flying through the bush, we flying through the bush. Go, go, fly, we gon' rock the show. We gon' pop. We Success comes so easy for you. Oh, I forgive myself. I choose to feel free. I will fight for everything I love. And I will love everything I fight for. This was another highlight of the album. The song is beautiful. Definitely a song that the listener gets lost in. And I really love how at the end, Dave Chappelle says, I forgive myself. I choose to feel good. I choose to feel free. I will fight for everything I love forever and I will love everything that I fight for forever. That's definitely a verse that resonates with me. Nowadays, there's not too many people that will fight for what they love. I feel like people give up very easily, um, not just on others, but they give up on themselves. I'm scared. Baby, me, I'm moving night when they really can't see me. I got so much around the house, I had to hide mine. I didn't hungry, Ratchet, can you do that there? Way out when I'm a roll, you said do that there. Night at hungry, Ratchet, can you do that there? Told you I'ma be right back as long as I get a rest every time I see some diamonds. And she be fresher than a man again. All type of bags in the closet like she married. All about the ring, I'm on the post. So, Princess Cut, diamonds, I got plenty. And she got a rolling on her leg, too. And it's plain. He went crazy in that song. I'm loyal, bitch. I got yay over Biden. Like, how you gonna end the song like that? That's crazy. I will say, in this song, he actually really did impress me with his lyrics. Got a couple more here. Let's keep it going. We got Lost Forever. Have you ever been lost? Lost on islands, driven in boat cars. Young black nigga worked at the oceans. About to go up a level of disrespectful. If she high, 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 I would end down it to push. Don't you know you in the I finally jump up, bounce back like trampoline. Yo, whip the cocaine to the pop up. To the homemade back truck with the max in on his head. He be dead by the morning. First, the first couple tracks, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical about this album, but this shit's like getting crazier and crazier as we keep going. Again, the production is just such a standout element in all these songs. It's it's just crazy. Come and kick back with a spatula, turning bad so they used to grow up in the back. Look up, fuck a monogamy, got a... What I like about this album especially is that all the features make sense where they are placed and who's on what song. The features are really complementing the style of song that they are on very, very well. I like that his flow sounds different on these songs. It's not as predictable as it typically is. I definitely can see him switching it up a bit, which I think is really 
refreshing because sometimes Travis does have a flow that can be predictable. Obviously, we already listened to K-pop, so let's hop into telekinesis. SZA is such a queen. I love her. Her voice is beautiful. I wish we had just Travis and SZA together. Just a song with them. We already know that they're an amazing duo together on a song. We know that they make beautiful music and I would love to hear more of them together. Wow. We really have one more song left and then that is it. That is Utopia. Let's hop into Tell Further Notice. So aka Tell He Goes on Another Five Year Hiatus. Where do we go now that we're done listening to Utopia? Let's talk about this album. What an experience. I will say personally, the first couple songs I wasn't really feeling. They were cool. Obviously the production was good, but I was just wanting more from the album. And maybe that was me being just like a little bit impatient, but I was just wanting more. And it wasn't until the Meltdown song that was with Drake is when I really was like, okay, here we go. Like, I like it. I'm getting invested. This is the best way I could describe it. We had like a snowball going and it was rolling like, it was rolling, but it was rolling kind of slow. And then once we hit Meltdown, it just started rolling and like gaining a lot of traction. And that's how I felt like this album was. We already know that Travis Scott has high production on his music we've been known that so obviously this having probably the best production in a hip-hop album to drop this year should come to no surprise for me some of the highlights of the album is definitely meltdown fiend topia twins and probably circus maximus oh and parasail parasail was good too all together i think it's pretty obvious that this is a great album obviously this is going to be talks about album of the year. I definitely have to listen to this more and really let these songs like resonate with me and really just let them sink in. I really enjoyed this album. I thought it was a fun listen. Definitely have a lot of these songs that I added to my playlist. So I'm excited to spend some more time with this. I'm excited to see how this album ages as well too. I haven't even like looked on the internet to see anyone's opinions yet. So I'm assuming that people are gonna love it. Obviously, there's gonna be like the haters that are like mid, 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 but that's pretty much every rap album. You're gonna get people saying that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what else you guys want me to react to on my channel. That is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.